Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Russell. I'm Russell. Make sure you guys subscribe right at the top. Thumbs up the video. Watch previous videos brought to you by the Amber Russell Show. And leave a comment at the bottom. So, with the way internet is today, you can see almost basically anything. You can go watch a concert, a whole full concert on the internet. You can watch um, anything on YouTube, any TV show you miss. And anything that's supposed to air the next day could be on the internet as well. This basically happened with the whole Britney Spears Good Morning America concert. So, I believe it was the concert that she did over the weekend in Vegas, uh, Friday night, I believe it was. And, um, different videos have leaked of her performance that she was supposed to air, um, this week on Good Morning America. The week which her new album, Femme Fatale, I believe it's pronounced, um, is supposed to come, come out. And, one thing I gotta say about this performance. She looked very nice in her different outfits. She wore three. She wore a uh, very silvery kind of, you know, Tina Turner-esque dress that was shiny and movie. And um, she wore a black, really tight, um, latex-type jumpsuit onesie-type thing with the boobs were lighting up. It was red. It looked really nice on her. And she wore something else. I forget what it was. Um, probably something pretty similar. I think it was something black and shiny. Um... The stage was set up very nicely. There was a screen. There was Femme Fatale at the top. The screen showed the different video clips of her and her previous music videos. Um, it was lighting up. And um, the show started off, which I believe, with um, different clips of old videos of her. And it ended with the video from her circus, with the shot from her from circus video, where the stuff with the glitter and the, the fire is coming down, whatever you want to call it, the, um, the sparks, rather, were coming down. And she, you know, she stands still like that, and it opens up, and out comes Britney Spears, just smoke everywhere. And it starts off with Hold Against Me. She did three songs from her new album. Um, she did Hold Against Me. She said, did, um, um, the new one, um, To the World Ends, I believe, and, um, Fat Bass or Big Bass or something like that. And, um, those two songs are pretty catchy songs, all three songs, rather. Um, you know, there's smoke everywhere, the, the, um, screen, um, opens up, and Britney Spears walks out with her dancers, and she starts off with Hold It Against Me. Um, different clips I've seen with different angles, um, it almost looked as though she was ahead of the step after the, um, at the end of it when she was doing her choreography. Um, the way the stage was set up and how everything was, and there was like a thing as she came out that pushed her out like this. You know, she came out like that, whatever, or that rolled her. Let me push this back. And, um, you know, it was a very great stage performance set up by her and her people. And, you know, the choreographers and the dancers were doing such a great job and made such a great choreography for the dancers. But it almost seemed as though she was lacking, you know. You could sort of tell that her voice was in it and it was like her singing, but the backtrack was way too loud. If you're going to try to sing live, at least, you know, turn the backtrack down a little bit less, and so we can actually hear your voice. Maybe in the actual one, because these were obviously just fan-posted videos. So maybe in the actual video, we'll be able to get a better assessment of if it's her voice or if it's not her voice. And if it's just, you know, the backtrack. Anyways, um, she was very limp, lifeless. Um, her dance moves were very slack. Uh, there was no energy. There was no passion behind them. Yes, she might have did all the dance steps. But, when you are putting 100% into it, you can tell. When, um, you look at the dancers, for instance, and they're putting their all into it, their blood, sweat, and tears, and you see her, you know, doing a little, you know, push it, and she's going like this, when she could, you know, just bring in more. She wasn't bringing in enough. Um, one part I did enjoy was, um, during the Hold Against Me, the dance breakdown, the dub, dubstep part. Um, which is the actual part of the song that actually, uh, holds a dubstep, um, type of music form in it. Um, that was a good part, but I still think she could have went a little bit crazy when, um, she was doing the, the pelvic thrust part. Um, she wasn't doing enough of it, almost, again, that she needed a charge of energy. Like, she needed, um, you know... Get back to the old Britney Spears from 2004 and during the um, Onyx Hotel and back like that. And previous years before that. She, we haven't seen that Britney in a really long time. I was hoping that this time around we might have seen it. But we're not. Um, 
lot of people are saying that, oh, it's because she had a baby, and it's because of a breakdown. Listen, Michael Jackson was 57 years old. He gave a hell of a performance right before he died. So the night before Michael Jackson dies, he could perform like that. And this girl is only 29 years old, and she's performing like that. That's a big difference, you know. He's He died the next day. She is doing a half-ass job, and is getting people are loving it. You know, you can hear the fans clear, screaming her name and cheering and singing right along with her. But it almost seems as though the passion isn't there for her anymore. Um, I hope for the upcoming more performances that she has, she does bring it 100%. We all know that there's going to be tons of camera trickery. As we've seen with this performance, there's a ton of smoke and mirrors and um, lights flickering on and off. And, you know, sparks coming down. You know, at the end of um, one of the songs, I think, Till the World Ends, I like the way it ended. She was on top of a... She climbed the stairs, and um, she was on top, and her uh, dancers were underneath, and they were raising their hands towards, towards her and praising her, and um, they were praising her, and then she was, you know, doing a little bit of silhouette dance moves, because it was like her silhouette was black, and um, light was shining through, and there was sparks going, and they were single beat. She was doing something else, I believe, and, you know, and just the way the sparks went, psh, you know, it ended. But then again, she still wasn't doing it good energy enough in it. There was a part at the end of the um, Hold Against Me, she was now on track, almost looked like, in some video clips I've seen. Um, so all in all, I'll say this is a D for effort, you know. You want to pull through for her, but she's not giving the energy, she's not giving the passion, she's not giving the love, there's no love for it anymore. And yet there's a ton of performers out there who back up dancers do ten times as much as them. But they still, you know, work the stage, they still have energy and passion behind everything they do. And yes, she had two kids and, you know, she had the meltdown, but Jennifer Lopez has had twins. You know, there's countless choreographers and backup dancers and performers who have had children who do not get such a bad performance. Um, you know, Brittany, I hope you would have stuffed it up, but you haven't. Um, I hope the best for you, but good luck in the future, but you need to bring it next time, and it seems as though next time will never come. Tomorrow is always a day away for you, and it never all, and tomorrow, tomorrow never comes and shows up for you. So I'll make sure you guys subscribe at the top, thumbs up the video, leave a comment at the bottom. Do you guys think that Britney Spears will have a career or will um, not have a career? Obviously she will. But do you guys think that she will um, upgrade herself and become a better performer over time? Or do you think this is the Britney Spears that we're going to be stuck with? The half-assed, very lackluster performer. Um, so do you guys think? Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment at the top.